Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. Today I'm going to be reviewing the cork montage bag. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. So I actually shot this video a couple weeks ago and I was ready to edit it. I had the whole day planned out to where this is my chunk of day to edit this video and none of this had audio. So, washed my hair, redid my makeup, put on the same dress, and I'm filming it again. So hopefully I can hit all the really good points that I did in that video. I was so excited for that video. I felt like it was just gonna be so, so good, and now it's gone, which is such a bummer. But I will try to say it all again. So here we go. So this eco-friendly product review isn't a product that you can use for your home or for cleaning. It's actually an accessory, this bag. And I did mention in my last video that moving forward in buying clothes and accessories, I want to look for things and brands that are sustainable and ethical. So this bag and this brand really, really fits the bill. It is the Montage Bag and it is available on Kickstarter, which is really cool in its own thing because I never really looked at Kickstarter before this, but when they said that they would be launching on Kickstarter, which that link is down below, I started looking on Kickstarter and there's just so much cool stuff on there that you can get for a fraction of the price that it will be once it hits mainstream. Because around the same time that they reached out to me, I was listening to a How I Built This by Guy Raz podcast and he had the founders of Brooklinen on there and when Brooklinen, they first launched it on Kickstarter, you could get the whole like duvet, sheets, pillows, the whole thing for like $65 and yes, it was Maybe you won't get it if the Kickstarter campaign doesn't go through, but then you get your money back. And you might have to wait a few months to get your product because they're just still working at logistics, but $65 if you buy it now and you can get it later. Now, those same sheet sets from Brooklinen, $180. So if you bought it right when it was on Kickstarter and you're like, I don't know, but it seems cool, I'm into the brand. You got something that people today would buy, but at a third of the cost, which I think is so cool. So if you're interested in this bag, definitely get it now while it's available on Kickstarter versus in the future when everybody wants this bag. And then you're just supporting a small business literally from the bottom and you can have like this knowing that like you did something to support this small business and help them grow, which gives you like a little bit of like pride in it as well. So I just think that's super cool. And I was like looking on Kickstarter and I was like, they're gonna start funding a lot of these campaigns. And then I looked around my apartment and thought it's only 450 square feet, so maybe not. Other than that, I really, really like this bag. So this bag does come in three colors as well. There's like this whiny, like purpley red color, a black, and this like gemstony bluish green, which also looks really, really cool. So all three of those are available on Kickstarter if you go and donate today. And what makes this bag different than other bags is that it is made of cork. Yes, cork, like the ones that you push a pin into. And the reason that they chose cork is because it is one of the most sustainable materials on the planet, which I didn't know going into it. I assumed cork was just like part of wood that they like pulverized and then made into cork. I didn't know much about cork and I'm sure you don't either, but cork actually comes from a cork tree, typically in Portugal. It's like one of their big exports. And after eight years, when the tree is matured, the bark of the tree, this cork tree is cork. So they'll go and they'll scrape it off, process it a little bit so it's usable. And that's the cork that's going into this bag, a cork board, a wine cork, anything with cork is coming from these trees. And then the tree will just regenerate and about six years later, more cork will be available. So you can just keep going and these trees will just keep growing and you just scrape it off a little bit. So it's actually a really big thing in Portugal, which I just didn't think like, oh, like all the cork trees are in Portugal. And just that cork even comes from trees. That's just the bark of trees. I thought that was so cool. So because of that is one of the most sustainable options, even more sustainable than a vegan leather. Because while some people may like vegan leathers or pleathers because it's not leather, so it's better for the environment, especially if you are an ethical vegan, then obviously that is the better choice. 
but a lot of vegan leathers are made from plastic based materials. So a lot of those, if you wash them, if you rinse them at all, microplastics will come off of that and get into our water systems, which is not good for our bodies. And we end up eating like over the course of a week, a debit card worth of microplastics. We eat that, which is insane because it's getting into our water systems, it's getting into the oceans, which gets into the fish, and then we eat the fish. It's this whole thing where we have so many microplastics in us, it's honestly insane. And plastics are not good for your body. A lot of them are actually hormone disruptors. So the more microplastics you are accumulating in your body, the worse it is for just your body in general, your brain, your health, all of it. So having something that you want is sustainable and vegan, but not plastic, cork is a really, really good option. And also, if you're gonna be investing your money into a product, you want it to last a long time. And typically, a lot of these fake leathers don't last a long time. They'll start cracking, they'll start peeling. You're just not getting a lot of use out of it for the money, which is typically why they're cheaper. But why keep buying something cheap and keep having to replace something cheap and every time it falls apart, just throw it in the trash when you can invest a little bit more in something that's higher quality and will last you a super long time versus keep having to replace something every time it starts to fall apart. So cork is so perfect for that and I think it's a really, really cool material to use for this bag. It's also super lightweight, water just rolls right off of it so if you're walking in the rain or it gets super hot, it's great. I actually took it to the beach the other day where it was super, super hot, and I wanted to see if these straps would get really sweaty on me. Did not, which is great because on my North Face backpack, I would just start sweating on that all the time. And it has so much space, like so much space. I'm actually going to insert a clip here that I shot a few weeks ago where I compared this bag to the two other bags that I typically use for work or even for school when I was back in college. The first bag that I always took to work is this Kate Spade little leather one, just because it's cute and like tiny. Because it is so small, I have to have a separate bag for my laptop, which is hard because not only do I have my backpack, but then I'm carrying my laptop case, I'm carrying my little lunch bag, I'm carrying my water bottle. It just becomes a lot of stuff in my hand. And I actually had this for a little bit for my last job, but because it was like a 10, 12 minute walk from the parking structure to the actual office, it was just way too much to carry. As you can see, it's just like lumpy now and because there's no support, like everything's just kind of like lumpy in the back and it flops. And if I like had one to put my water, a water bottle in there or just like anything, it's always like risky having it just like pop open. It's like so dark in there and I like hated having to like open and close all this part. So then it's like so dark and you're like digging around. For my last job, I ended up switching to my North Face. And this I got in college. While it has a lot of space, everything was pretty much being stacked up on top of each other. And then you'd have to like stack it like Tetris style. That way it doesn't end up too like bubbly in the front. And then because it's so narrow, again, it's just like so dark in there. I would put all like my tech, like my chargers and everything in this front pocket. So it is a bit bigger than the Kate Spade one. It definitely holds a lot more. But it's not that cute. Like it's cute if you're going up the mountain, I'm not gonna like show up to my office job. Cute outfit on and everything, and then this on my back. And now I want to show you the Montage backpack. So this one I really like because you don't even have to dig around the inside to get to your laptop. You can put it right back here. I have the MacBook 16 inch one. So it's the biggest MacBook you could get. And then it also has this little pouch back here, which I could easily just throw this little guy in and that keeps it all back here so spacious like look at that and I also think because it's light inside it makes it seem so much more spacious versus both of those other ones are black inside and it just makes it seem like a dark hole of like nothingness So this is it. As you can see, I fit in 
so much and it's so cute and it's not like a deep dark void so as you saw this bag is just so many zippers so many compartments they really thought it all through so again you have this back part over here for your laptop your ipad even a notebook and it's so flat too that when you do add your laptop it's not gonna make it bulge out in the back at all it stays pretty flat because this material is just it's lightweight, but it's thick enough to where it holds its shape. It's not gonna get all lumpy like a fabric material would. This, if you adjust the straps, can make it into a crossbody. And these back zippers. If you open up both of the zippers, it goes all the way through, which is perfect for a suitcase. If you're traveling and you don't wanna carry your backpack and you're be pushing your suitcase, you can just right on the handle there. Or you can keep one side closed, tuck some things in there, add some paperwork, something that you just easily wanna reach from right behind your back. And then as long as you have the other one closed and then you zip up both sides, it's not gonna be falling out. So it's just nice and flat right there, easy access. So I honestly love it. And again, the three colors and they all have the gold, which I'm a big fan of gold. Almost all of my accessories are gold. I just think it looks really good on me in comparison to silver. So very happy that this has gold. So again, if you open up both sides of the zippers on the back side, it goes all the way through, which is perfect for your suitcase. like the perfect size. Oh, and actually it looks really cute with my suitcase. Then you can just whoop, take it off, zip it up. And off you go. Also, when they reached out, I was so excited because I absolutely love everything that they are doing and the bag itself. And then I was kind of bummed though because I thought it's the perfect backpack to take to work and to travel two things that you cannot do right now, but maybe one day. I also love that it has these little gold legs so the bottom won't get all scuffed up. Again, this is super durable, but if you can just keep it a little bit nicer without even having to try, then why not? And this back part is super easy to adjust. So right now I have it to where it's a backpack that's sitting a little bit higher on me, but you can easily adjust it and make these even longer. And now you have it with a little strap situation. So you can have it on the side here. And again, because all the zippers are just so easy to get to, you're not like fumbling with anything, even like these bottom side ones, it's just easy to get anything that you may need from any pocket. Even if you wanna, since it is long enough, you do a little crossbody. And again, I absolutely love all of the colors. I love how this is just like, stain so pretty and again they will all look a little different since the cork each piece of cork will take the ink a little bit differently i also love how it kind of reflects in the light so when you support this bag on kickstarter you're also supporting a really good company it's ran and owned by women i met one of the owners when she handed me this bag to use for the video and they are based out of california so just a super nice team absolutely love them and they're partnered with this company in uganda so for every bag that is purchased they are planting a tree there and also helping create sustainable charcoal. In Uganda, charcoal is how 95% of the country cooks and just lives and has their energy to do day-to-day -day life. But because of the rising costs and just because it's, of its scarcity, since it is a non-renewable resource, it's beginning a lot more expensive. It also is not great for the environment when burned. It makes the air dirty and it also just makes the quality of life lower. So because of all these things, the higher price, the bad air quality, it makes it really hard for the people in Uganda to get their basic needs met, like cooking food. So with this company that they've partnered with and making sustainable charcoal, they are able to help the people of Uganda get the charcoal and the energy and the resources that they need while helping the planet and just giving them a better quality of life. And just one less thing to have to worry about because with everything going on, you shouldn't have to worry about if your food's gonna be cooked, if you can have anything running, if your life's gonna be impacted in any way because you can't cook your food. You can't just do things that here we take for granted. I feel like there's so many bits that I'm missing because again, the first time I shot this, I was just like going on about 
everything, like how they're helping in Uganda, how they're helping in Portugal, because if you vote with your dollar by buying things made of cork and helping out these people who are harvesting the cork, then of course, everybody will start to get the idea of like, oh, people want sustainability, sustainable products are better, let's get more sustainable products out there, especially from things like cork, and we'll start, other companies will start following suit. I just was so excited about this, and now I feel like I can't remember anything that I talked about the first time around, so I just, I, I feel like I'm not doing it justice, but I'm so, so excited about this product. And I really hope that you all support them on Kickstarter. It's just such a great product. Again, a really great company. And Kickstarter itself, if you just want to like look around and see what other small businesses are doing and just like the innovativeness, innovativeness, innovation, the innovation of these people. There's so many smart people out there and they're not being shown to the world. But if you look on Kickstarter, it's like, oh wow, like people are doing really, really good things and I can support them with my money and like let them know that I support them and vote again, vote with my dollar that this is what I want to see more of in the future. I don't know what I was saying. So again, if you want to get your hands on one of these for yourself, I will have the Kickstarter link down below as well as their Instagram if you want to check them out there. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what else you want to see here on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.